If you eat that plant, you may well die. If you eat that plant, you'll be absolutely fine. They are both members of the carrot family, scientific name Apiaceae, also sometimes referred to as umbellifers because all members of the carrot family produce flowers that look a bit like umbrellas, so umbels of flowers. This is cow parsley. Cow parsley, as I said, it's nothing special. It's not one that I actively go out looking for because it's not that nice in flavour. It tastes and smells like a fresh green leaf, a grassy parsley at best. Hemlock, this plant, you might not be able to see properly, but if you do look very closely at hemlock, it is hairless. There are no hairs on hemlock. Whereas cow parsley and certain other lookalikes in this carrot family, like sweet Sicily, for example, have hairs on. So you can see there, very clear hairs on the stem. Those hairs on the stem immediately tell you that this is not hemlock. You can also see down the stem there, this guttering. In other words, the stem is not round. It's almost a bit more of a celery-like shape with a guttering down the middle. Whereas hemlock, even on these young stems, is a much more of a round stem without that guttering. So hairless and round, whereas this one, cow parsley, has hairs on it and guttering. Now this plant, as I said, is deadly toxic. It is one that you definitely need to know about and understand so that when you're picking things that might look a bit like this, you don't get this. Another factor is the smell. If you smell this plant, if you like crush up a leaf and smell it, it would smell pretty horrible. Some people have described it as mouse urine, very musty. I just think it smells just chemically and horrible. But this plant here, the cow parsley, smells okay. You know, it doesn't smell amazing, but it doesn't smell unpleasant. Sweet Sicily, another nice edible member of this family, which also has hairs on it, has a real aniseed-like smell to it. So that's a really clear, lovely, sweet smell of aniseed. Nothing like the smell of this plant. When it gets a bit more mature, hemlock will also have very clear red or purpley blotching on the stem. But when they're young, as is the one that I just showed you, you don't often see that. So it's not a reliable indicator when the plant is young in March and April. But certainly from late April and especially in May, you'll definitely start to see that red blotching develop on the stems. Whereas the leaf stems of cow parsley can often be a reddy purpley colour, but it's a much more of a smooth, even colour rather than blotchy.